uh, domestic abuse before. So um, I wanted to see what they have going on so I can express my feelings to help others too. The Hmong community is hurting after a recent murder-suicide, and today community members are coming together to discuss domestic violence and prevention, hoping to find solutions to what they say is a real problem. Now, those from the Hmong community say cultural differences have allowed domestic abuse to get out of hand. Bab Santos tells us about the discussions they're having to put an end to the abuse. The Hmong 18 Council tried to address what they called the elephant in the room on Saturday at an event meant to end community silence and talk about a taboo topic many impacted people feel is not discussed enough, domestic violence in the Hmong community, especially after a series of recent murder-suicides around the Twin Cities. Because we are the families who are left behind. Saturday's event was in the works since January but maybe even more needed after last Friday, when police say 36-year-old Jennifer Yang was killed by her partner in an Andover murder-suicide that left behind three children. The system did not support her. That's why we're here. But I have not seen anything of her that gave me any answers to why my sister died senselessly last week. And none of this had to help. On hand, Jennifer's sister and brother and others demanded answers about what will be done to address the problem they now understand all too well. The problem, they say, of a community and culture isolating women victimized by their abusive husbands. So the system doesn't work. All of the systems don't work. So I want to ask you, who and how are you going to change the, the brothers that are doing this. Organizer Chen Babu's goal Saturday was to get ahead of the problem and prevent more tragedy rather than reacting in the wake of it. That meant talking about the issues, finding solutions, and offering a variety of resources. The beginning, he hopes, of healing for the community. We want to do whatever we can to help the community recover, and grow, and become healthy. Way further, we hope that it does not happen to any other Jeffrey or any other woman. And part of the plan here is to continue to offer these workshops to the community every two months with the next one here planned for May. Karen?